So continuing kind of with this dialogue, we've got, you know, crypto moving up in direct relationship or corollary to traditional finance, traditional stocks going down. Okay. Uh, now I want to talk about real quickly. Let's talk about kind of shift our attention and talk about the federal reserve meeting that we've got going on right now. Okay. So it started today. The federal reserve meeting started today. Today's not the day that we really care about per se. Okay. So we've got the fed setting starting today, their FOMC meeting. So we've got that starting today. It's tomorrow. May 3rd is the day that we really, really care about. That is the day that we're going to get, you know, uh, Chairman uh, Greens, Chair, the Chairman Powell is going to, Greenspan, I'm sorry, Chairman Powell is going to come out, give his speech around 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's going to come out and talk about, now here's what we're expecting. So we're expecting in the Federal Reserve FOMC meeting, we're expecting that, that 25 basis point raise. Okay, that number is effectively built into the market. and what we will see out of this though, is what is chairman Powell, who's the chairman of the federal reserve. What's he going to say in his speech? That's what everybody's literally going to be watching. They're going to be like, what's his body language? How many times is he going to say the word data? How many times is he going to get asked them the, the same question over and over again? You know, all this kind of stuff, but that's what we're going to really be watching for is tomorrow in that speech is what is, how is that going to play out? What's going to happen? What are we going to see there? Okay. Uh, we're expecting a 25 basis point raise in the meeting tomorrow when that when it's announced. And the announcement will go live about 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, my plan is to be live on my channel tomorrow. I'm sure Zach will be live as well um, and to, to be looking at this. But we're really going to, again, be watching is, is Chairman Powell's speech. That's what we're going to be paying attention to. And I think... What we're going to see is we might see crypto run. Now I'm going to refresh this real quickly. Uh, yeah, crypto continues to kind of, all right, we're still right about, about a percentage point up, but I want to refresh this, see how the stock market is moving. So the stock market is pairing back a little bit of that loss. It's been as, been as down as much as almost 600 points right there on the Dow 30. Um, but it's, again, I think this move down, like I said, have said is that this is directly correlated to the banks moving down, but you see, you see a run to crypto. That's what you're seeing. We've been down in crypto for the last 24 to 36 hours. So you're seeing a run to crypto. That's what's really cool about this is people are now because of the banking failures, they're starting to come in, coming into crypto. Okay. So we are looking at a pretty interesting scenario playing out tomorrow, uh, May 3rd, depending upon when you're watching this, you know, watching this, we'll see how that plays out. We're going to be watching Chairman Greenspan, I keep saying that, you know, it's funny. I keep thinking that German Powell, there you go. I'm gonna have to write them. I'm gonna have to tattoo that on my arm uh, to see what he says. Now they, if they do raise the interest rate 25 basis point, which is the consensus, then that what's interesting about that is that's going to basically take us into the, um, the 5% range kind of with the overall, uh, what the rate is. And that takes us back to almost 2004 and 2005 levels. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be taking a look at that as that, as that situation plays out tomorrow.